This is Twit. And since we're now heading into this territory where you're, you're kind of laying down your 46 years of knowledge upon uh, our audience, if, if there was somebody who is listening to this, this podcast and saying, well, I, I want the foundational knowledge and I want to know if I've got that, that proclivity to, to, to create like Steve Gibson, what's the advice that you'd want to give them? Um, okay. Um, I'm, I'm holding up here a, a little $10 circuit board that Texas Instruments sells uh, called the launch pad. Um, um, the, the answer to your question is do something. You, th the way to learn is by doing. And, you know, th that's for whatever reason, I, I, I got started at age four building and, and I've never stopped. And so I got probably, if nothing else, I got the sense that, hey, I can hook these wires up and with a battery has juice and the light bulb is not burned out. When I s close this knife switch, that light is going to go on. And it did. And then I thought, hey, I like that. And then I, I, I got another light and hooked up the other side of the knife switch. And, and then I, you know, got a doorbell and made it ring and so forth. The point is that, that you, you need to switch from, from being passive to being active. And you also need necessarily to cut yourself some slack. There's no hurry. There's no deadline. There, no one's going to grade you. You know, this is not about achieving anything other than for yourself. What this little $10, I mean, it, it literally is $9.99. Shipping used to be free. Now, now they charge shipping. So, but for less than $20, this is a, a beautiful little chip sitting here in the middle. It's got a, a USB, um, a micro USB connector, and they, they provide the cable as part of it. And so this is bare bones. There is no code in here. There's no Arduino interpreter. This is a, a, a venerable chip. It's a 16-bit microcontroller or microcomputer, which I think is perfect. 32 bits is too many. 8 bits is not enough. 8 bits is a pain. Um, and, and whereas 16 is sort of a sweet spot. It's, it's beautifully designed. Um, the, the IDEs, the... the um, uh, you know, the, the uh, integrated development environments are free for this. You download them from TI site um, and you can start programming. And so it's got a couple of little LEDs on it. It's got some push buttons and and you can get a start with something that is is it, I mean, and this it, actually this chip is used in embedded applications. I love it because it is incredibly low power. So you can you can create things with it that you cannot create with the Arduino where in like things like smoke alarms or, uh, you know, uh, IR uh, sensors and all kinds of different things. But the point is, it is, it doesn't have to be expensive for, uh, of anything other than your time. And it will be a time sink. It will be unbelievably expensive of your time. But unfortunately, there's no way around that. So it costs nothing in dollars. It costs everything in hours because it's hours of you fighting with the compiler. Why doesn't it like this? the syntax that I just entered and, and scratching your head at why the, it, the program doesn't do what you expect? Um, and for the, that, that's, not the, that's not many people's cup of tea. But, but there isn't a way of cheating that. There isn't a way around it. If what you want is to really gain an understanding of bits and, and how, an, how the add instruction works and a conditional jump and like where all this stuff came from, then, then this is the way you get it. You get it by, by starting with something that is nothing and building something of your own from that. And it's it is it is not expensive in dollars, but it it will it will burn up time. But if 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 
if if there's a passion, if you have that desire, then it's absolutely, you know, within reach.